Hello, it's Teresa here and I am on the road again with Lamotte. I read up on sustainable tourism at Le Mats and I wanted to check up for myself what that actually means, which is why Le Mat recommended I visit Caterina and Carlo in Londa. Both of them are very involved in the local development of their small community. Well, of course, I was also looking forward to the great food and the last rays of sunlight of the autumn. I take the train from Florence to Contea. Caterina and Carlos' house, Il Tondo, is easy to reach by foot from the train station. Along the former mule track and past the mill, Gorazzaio and straight to Caiano. Il Tondo is situated at a turn in the road. Awaiting me is the front door made of wood which is full of all sorts of information about things to do in the surrounding area. Carlo is already in the kitchen. Preparing a welcoming meal and calls to me, your room is in the one with the parquet floors. On entering my room, which is filled with a warm light, I soon recognize the effort Katerina has put into decorating it. Everything seems so alive and cozy, as if it were home. During dinner it becomes clear to me how the constancy of the recurring rituals and the ceremonial gestures give meaning to a place. Tomorrow new guests will be arriving for whom everything is being arranged. There is always lots to do here and everything is never fully prepared and attended to. In the morning we go to the visitor center of the nature park Parco delle Foreste Casentinesi, which has been organized by my host. Active members of the community from the surrounding area are meeting this evening to discuss different ideas about how to recreate their surroundings into an attractive space where living and working can be combined, that it becomes something unique in itself. This is how I get to know Daniela, who is an amateur astronomer, Christina, who loves horses and children, Maria Luisa, who has always managed the local oil mill. Cecilia, who is active in the local community. And Francesco, who manages the bar of Fatrone. Afterwards, we visit Daniela's chestnut grove, where the trees are so tall they touch the heavens, near Castagno de Andrea. In questo castagneto si produce in questo momento principalmente il marrone doc. Daniela tells me that he is growing a very valuable kind of chestnut, which has a sweet and an exceptionally good taste. È una varietà veramente buona.
Londa is a small town, most likely named Onda, meaning wave, which is caused by the flowing together at this point of the torrents of the two rivers, Rinchene and Moshia. In the evening, the discussion goes on about how more effort should be put into the agriculture of the surrounding area. Five days later, my journey takes me to another part of the nature park, Parco della Foreste Casentinesi, in the direction of Arezzo. Thank you, Lamat, for once again introducing me to such special people and special places.